Hey coders, what's up? Chris here with episode seven of how to make a YouTube video app. In the previous lesson, we had created these video thumbnail labels, plus this little dimmed background covering the label so you can see it. And we increased the resolution of the video thumbnails by downloading the correct one. So thank you to commenter Strange Productions for that tip on how to get the higher quality thumbnail. In this lesson, we're going to work on clicking a video, selecting a video to go to another view. And I just noticed that clicking a thumbnail actually kind of removes that UI view in there. So let's fix that first of all. Let's go into the storyboard. And how we would fix that is if we click our basic cell right here in the document outline. And for the selection, let's choose none instead of the default is blue. So let's run it again and see what happens. Okay, so now it's good. It's not doing that weird selection highlight. Okay, so now what we want to do in order to navigate to another view is we're going to use what's called a navigation controller. And it's just one of the ways that we can handle navigation in an iOS app. But in this case, it's going to be pretty simple for our two view controller application. So our main view controller, let me just close this document outline so we can see a little better. Uh, this is the main view controller. We have here the scrollable list or the table view of the videos. And our second view controller is going to be the detail one when we select a particular video. And that detail view controller is going to show the actual video and the description. So what we're going to do here is click this little white bar of the view controller. So we make sure it's highlighted. Alternatively, from the document outline, you can select the view controller right here. Actually, when you select it, make sure it highlights in blue like that. Uh, or click the view controller here. And go up to the menu. I'm going to go to Editor, Embed In, and choose Navigation Controller. And when you do that, let's just double click here to zoom out. When you do that, you'll notice that it added what's called a navigation controller. And you see this little line pointing to our main view controller with the scrollable list of videos. And also notice that this arrow, I mentioned in the first lesson or second lesson that this dictates where the starting point is. You'll notice that now it points to the navigation controller. So this guy here actually controls what is being shown to the user. It can keep track of a bunch of view controllers and it can manage the transitions uh, in between them. So right now the navigation controllers root view controller is this main uh, view controller we've got here. So this is going to be the first view that people see. And if you run the app now, you're not really going to see any difference. Uh, While well, you do see that navigation header there. So we can customize that a little bit later. Nothing happens still when, when we click these video thumbnails. I'm going to stop it. Uh, we're going to add the second screen now. So. That's really exciting because we're going to get to navigate in between them very, very soon. So in here, in the object library, just search for view controller. There's going to be a whole bunch, but you want to select this top one that simply says view controller. And what you want to do is drag it onto your storyboard. It's going to get a little crowded. So what you can do is double click to zoom out and then just rearrange it there. So I'm just going to put it up here on top of the the main view controller there. So how do we get it so that when we click a video, it goes to this second view controller that we have here? Well, what we're going to do is draw a little arrow, just like this one here where the view controller is pointing to our main view controller, and draw a little arrow from this view controller to the one that we just added. And we want that little arrow to happen that indicates a transition. We want that transition to happen when the user selects a cell. Okay, so I'm going to double click the empty area to kind of drill back in. Now what we're going to do is select the cell. And actually, I'm going to select the cell because I clicked the cell here, but I'm actually selected uh, my image view. So as you can see in the document outline, I want to make sure that we select the basic cell. So I'm going to hold down control on my keyboard. And while holding down control, I'm going to click and drag and then you'll see a little blue line start to follow your basic cell. So we're going to drag it all the way up here in the document line to this view controller line. And this is the view controller that we just added. So I'm going to let go. You're going to see a little menu pop up. And under Selection Segue, we're going to choose Show. 
Okay, so selection segue is when that cell is selected, we're going to transition to this view controller. When you select show, you'll see that this little arrow is drawn. You can see the little arrow there. It's kind of hiding behind behind it. Okay, so let's see how that affects the app. I'm going to run it right now. And then now when we select a video cell, it transitions to our second view controller. And it also has this little back button for us to go back. So at this point, no matter what video cell we select, it goes to that view controller. In the next lesson, we're going to customize this detail view um, so that we can show a video thumbnail and a description. So it was a short video today. I'm sure you guys all have Black Friday deals to get to. I know I do. I'll see you guys on Monday uh, at 12 p.m. Eastern. Have a great weekend. Talk to you then. Bye-bye.